The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wood and sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info. You hear the words you say sometimes? I mean, who talks like that? There you go. It's uh, Incubus right there. Drive. Uh, if you don't have to, don't do it, though, because we're not uh, looking good out there right now. Rain's floating through. It's going to stay this way for a while, and people are sliding all over the place. Uh, before we get into this, and I didn't really notice him saying so, but earlier in the show, Toledo said about circumcision – that he did it when his son was six months old. Ooh, that's that's yeah. old, right? So my son was two weeks old, and they said, don't do it if the baby's older than a month. They gave my kid sugar water to make him feel good. I had to wait in a separate room. My son is only a year and a half, so things uh, could have changed over time. But Toledo's doctor is a sadistic son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who cuts a six-month-old's wiener? Richard! Yeah, my son, it was the next day after my yeah, son yours was, was born. Usually, yeah. I, I didn't catch that, that he said it was six, six months. Six months, jeez. And I know you can get it done later, but. With sheet metal shears. Did you have six months before Alex got it? If I said that, I might have been been wrong there. It wasn't oh. the second day though. It was it was Later six on. weeks. Oh, six, six, six weeks. weeks. Okay. Still. Yeah. Were you him and Han, or what was the hold up? No, 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 no. I said six months. I misspoke. It oh, okay. was like six weeks. I didn't catch that. He was waiting so. for the DNA test to come back and find out <laughs> yeah. he's Jewish. Well, or had, not. To be, had to be yeah. sure. He was also trying to decide whether he was going to stick around. Family tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's an eight, yeah. John. It's an eight. It's an eight. The it's family a, business. Yeah. You have to fight the feelings. I couldn't fight it, you know. Yeah, got to fight the urges. Well, he is half black. Remember, Richard. Well, that you is know, true. You we know, just found President out. John's his dad, so. That's true. Uh, it's time now for Brady to entertain us all. This is the Entertainment Drill, brought to you by my friends at ReactDefense.com, the home of tactical black self-defense. And if you want to get out there and get in great shape and learn some self-defense stuff that you didn't know existed, and it would be like, holy cow, this changes everything. Well, that's the place to go. ReactDefense.com will teach you all that while you're getting in great shape. And again, like I told you, Monday, my dad went with me, 73 years old, never done anything like it, loved every second of it. And, uh, you know, he's in decent shape, but he's still 73, 73-year-old man. If you're thinking to yourself, I'm not in the kind of shape I need to be in, i got to get, no, you don't. You go today as is and you start the process, you'll be blown away at what you can accomplish now, and then just wait down the road when you start getting to this thing. It changes everything. You're going to be so happy with yourself, and it's fun. Top of the list is that it's a blast. It's a workout you can actually enjoy every time, and that's what you need to get involved with. Get yourself in better shape mentally and physically. ReactDefense.com, the home of Tactical Black, celebrating 20 years in Phoenix, Glendale, and Chandler. Brady, entertain me. Nick Cannon pranked Kevin Hart by sending him a llama for his birthday and I had a little uh, save the drama for your llama uh, happy birthday because he on the note it also said uh, since, since I'm having all these new kids I thought I would bless you with one a, a new one as well so Kevin a little payback prank yeah. put up three billboards um, one in LA one in Atlanta and the other in New York that said, for any advice on fatherhood, call my best friend Nick Cannon and put his real put phone, his phone number, number up there. there. There's oh, the win. There, there you go. go. That's how that. you one up somebody. Win. Nick has seven kids with four different women. Four oh. of those kids have been born within the past eight months. He had one like the next day. Yeah. He had a kid and, and the next day. They're like, oh, got another one pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He had that one. And it was like two days later, Nick Cannon had another baby. It's pretty amazing. You can get two out in a And week. he's all cryptic about it. He's like, I'm doing this on purpose. Mm. He's like, it, yeah, it's, it's like he's building an army. <laughs> you gotta have you kinda have to say that. If you're if He's you're too not far gone, that, yeah. He's just like I gotta accept it at this point. In too deep. The surreal life is coming back this fall. For the first time since two thousand six. You ready for the the cast? Dennis Rodman, Stormy Daniels, oh, man. Frankie Munez. Hello, train wreck. Wow, that's going to be a treat. Frankie is Munez that? is deciding to come out of retirement for for this. Yes, because I want to live with Dennis Rodman too. I want to see. Oh, him. that would be awesome. When does it start? Uh, when does it start? <laughs> oh, 
happened. This right? fall. He lost like, him. Okay, he lost him. <laughs> Come on, Biden. Let's I go. <laughs> Brady needed an old man now. <laughs> Sean Penn is uh, doing a limited series for stars called Gaslit, and it's about Watergate, the Watergate scandal. But he will not um, show up to the set until everyone is vaccinated. Wow. So it might that's not star happen. power. That's star power. That's different than demands. It's just. Yeah, that's swinging your D yeah, around. That's pretty much that. Dr. Dre finalized his uh, divorce. He'll pay his ex wife $3.5 million a year in support. Oh. But it's a good deal for him because she was asking for $2 million per month. Jeez. Uh, that, that I can't even grasp. Like somebody, I, I don't know if I have that in me. Like if somebody did that much better than me, and I got a divorce from them, I'd have more personal pride in my brain to say you got to pay to be a person. Ben and Zobris' I, wife is pissed off that he took a leave of absence when she was cheating on him. Well, she wants that money. <laughs> she was not only that; her and her pastor were like guiding him to their relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it was a complete uh, brainwashing what was going on. There was way beyond any infidelity. This was a full-on manipulation of a man, yeah. his money, and like talking him into giving to the church and stuff. And then he took time away when he found out I'd just been bamboozled by not only my wife but my pastor, and they're in on it together. And now she's like, well, you didn't make as much money last year. and that You were supposed to make $12 yeah, million and I want my part no, of that? <laughs> that shouldn't count against me. I don't understand that. Like that, I understand you have to get back on your feet. But it shouldn't cost somebody. If you're getting millions of dollars, you'll you'll be fine getting back on your You should get your value. <laughs> Neither one of you guys are money-grubbing broads. That's why you don't understand how this works. I don't, uh, what, what's the problem? Yeah, you guys are this trying Italian to run, logic run, is so strong. I don't know why you're talking yeah. about this. What in the world don't you understand <laughs> the fact that you got logic and a wang? You ain't a money-grubbing hoe. That's the difference. You got what's called Pride. Oh, we got that. <laughs> it's true. It's hard logic to argue with. You know, we can't really fight that. But I just don't know that if, like, you know, if Brady, like Brady and I are gay married, right? Okay. And Brady makes ten million a year, and I make a uh, hundred thousand. My value is a hundred thousand. So maybe he has to kick in and give me that. You know, it shouldn't have to be like uh, I don't know. I I just don't. I, I as a person, I don't see that. Like a, in the millions the, and millions but, range. When but you get that into that, it's not the way the agreement. I understand goes that, but it needs to. And and yeah. I'm not now. I, now the prenup isn't a rude thing to ask anymore. No. I don't think. It's but not. I get it. But like if Dr. Dre, through his own volition, made billions of dollars. Yeah, you were just along for the ride, so you deserve to be compensated as an employee. Yeah. But you you didn't do half. So her getting two million a month. It's. Uh, that's I, why I, it should look look three point five million a year. That's right. That's I get why. The system's in place that way because the courts don't want to deal with you bickering. But bottom line is you as a a human should have personal pride and say, no, I mean, that's clear. And clearly that's his talent, his work. Yeah. And that's uh, he's. But I give me a give me a chunk of change. Get me on my feet. Now I'll I'll go on my own. That's what happened with Jeff Gordon and his wife. He yeah. ended up she, – she couldn't take half because he's like, I put my life on the line. Yeah. She doesn't. The judge is like, well, you got a point. <laughs> so she got money. So he's like, yeah, sure. So it was one of the few times that it went in the guy's favor. Right. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong to fork over the dough. But that when they start screaming for more, that's when I'm like, don't you have any pride in your heart that says I can do this on my own? But, you, you know, again, it comes down to knowing that going into it first. Like that's if you're true. gonna get married. That's yeah. the point. Here's the here's the rules, here's yeah. the laws. Yep. Everything from that day forward yeah, that's very true. assets, it's fifty percent. Well look how much you know McCartney had to pay out to Heather Mills. I mean, Mills. She didn't do anything. She was never even around for the yeah. Beatles stuff. You're right though, Brady's right. You're, she got fifty percent of what he got because she only has fifty percent of the normal person's legs. Well, or? I don't know if she gets she, she needed to buy her she new legs. Fifty percent, she gets whatever she when they met she that day. Dunning amount they of money. Met, they oh, she 50% got percent from whenever the relationship is. See how That's what you yeah. think, because she Jeff ended up Bezos getting the wife too, Apple huh? Money Beatles catalog, which was the killer, because they signed with Apple and got a billion each. Oh, when it went all right. digital, and for so the first she time. somehow was in on that deal. She's so like, she, I was part of that. Yeah, she basically yeah. got the Beatles money. Yeah, Heather Mills got fifty million dollars. One of the most it was cash most, payout. Yeah, right off the bat, it's a big pile, and she was there for like three years. Yeah. And spread her leg maybe like once every month. <laughs> her stump. <laughs> Sopranos Monopoly is coming. Oh, and Do you get to rob people? It's Monopoly, you dumbass. <laughs> but 
but it's Sopranos. There's <laughs> no, got to be. There's got to well, be part of the rules. You could reach over and take somebody else's. Yeah, yeah, there's be a way. Exactly. There's got to be a. There's got to be a criminal oh, element this is to worth it because it, there'll be an envelope. Game night. Let's oh, do we're it. We're doing it. All right. When does that come out? Fall that doesn't say oh. in the fall. Yeah, in one. time for Christmas. It's not going to be the same as Monopoly. There's going to be payouts, bribes. Yeah, there's got to be some kind oh. of uh, nefarious. Why a uh, dude just got whacked? What? I'm out. Yeah. It says here in chance, you just got whacked. Game over. Oh. I want to play. Oh, the box looks awesome. Does it? Yeah, he pulled it up. I'll oh, get a date on that. Whitney Houston is doing a residency at Harris Casino in Las Vegas this fall. An evening with Whitney. Wait, who is? The hologram. Whitney Houston hologram oh, concert. Cares. It's pretty neat. You ever seen one? Yeah. I almost danced with the Michael dead. Jackson one once. It was pretty awesome. They're dead. I know she's dead. But well, they're dead. dead. <laughs> cares they're about dead. that stuff. <laughs> they're going to combine it with the O show uh, eventually on the... Oh, oh Oprah? Brady. Great crowd. Too Thank soon. You. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> The best is still Brady's uh, secret know, square. Let's not bring it up. It makes him uncomfortable. They oh, put her in the water. Show. Look at that. That's Son of awesome. A look at the board. The Sopranos uh, Monopoly looks outstanding. Got to have that. All right. It's almost, it's almost time to go. It's, it's a garbage truck. Look, you can be a garbage, a garbage truck. truck. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> There's got to be a Stugatz. There it is. The, There's the pig from the pork store. Pile my has to be in there. The rubber duck. Pile <laughs> my. The, the the chair from uh, from Milfy's oh, office. Johnny Dr. Cakes. Milfie's chair. Oh, this is too good. All right. Yeah, the Sopranos Monopoly is off. Awesome. It's a must. Uh, there you go. That's your entertainment drill. Coming up in just seconds, we got them Guadalupe squares. We need a girl. We need a boy. The squares are coming up. And I do believe we have tickets to something to give you. We'll tell you what it is. If you win the squares, they are next. Arizona's most powerful rock radio station. He said fully erect. And he has- You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.